What's going on guys and welcome back to another Geeky Gecko Creations video. If you want to see all the puzzle ball pythons we made this year, then you came to the right place. So first let's start off with some that hatched about a year, year and a half ago. So this is just a normal pastel puzzle female. And now she's big enough to where we're just going to hold on to her and put her into breeding very soon. And so are the boys. And so this is what I think to be a yellow belly pastel puzzle. It does have a little bit more lateral lines and just an overall a little bit more striping and contrast between the blacks and yellows. And here you can see a normal yellow belly that is not pastel. And you can kind of see that same striping. Now pastel does affect the look of a puzzle, some say in a good way, most people say in a good way. With the yellow belly puzzle, I like to say they almost have medals of honor or badges. See, these look like purple hearts to me. Badges of honor hanging off their body. Now, I'm gonna show you a really, really cool one, and I've never seen anybody else that has this specific combo, even though it's a super simple combo. This one does look like it's going into shed a little bit, but look at this combo is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen this is a yellow belly calico puzzle no pastel in this pairing so it's a very bright yellow animal most likely because of the yellow belly and the calico dad was a yellow belly puzzle and mom is a calico head puzzle no pastel calico just like it does with other jeans raises the belly pattern and look at the explosiveness of shrapnel. I like to say it looks like hieroglyphics. When you're looking at this, it looks like ancient alien writing from the heavens or something. Like Hebrew, that almost looks like Hebrew even. And this one in particular does have a little bit of a spicy attitude, so I always have to be careful getting bit with this one. Beautiful, stunning, stunning animal. So puzzles have a lot of striping around their neck. I almost call it like a giraffe pattern. So if you look at the animal's neck, like especially right there, you could already see a little bit of it. This guy's fighting me a little bit, but right there, you could kind of see like that zigzaggy pattern. You'll see it on, just go to our Instagram. You'll see tons of photos that I caught. Look at that. How cool is that? Super cool. Calico yellow belly puzzle. Now the counterpart to that is calico yellow belly het puzzle. And so here's the Het Puzzle version. The Het Puzzle version had so many pinks and peach tones when it was a baby. So I think Calico Banana, Calico Lavender, Calico Sunset Puzzles, I think that's gonna be the way to go for sure. Cause Puzzle raises up that belly pattern and makes more white. So it gives more of like a hieroglyphic look with some contrast and then Calico does the same and also brings in a little bit of color. So you can see this right here. Man, when this thing was a baby, peach. Pure peach pink tones, it was crazy. The puzzle version versus the het puzzle version. Look at that. All right, we're probably not gonna get to show all the puzzles we made, but I'm, show I'm showing off some cool ones. This one's pretty cool, has a little bit extra striping in it. Little bit extra stripey. Pastel puzzle, very stripey right there. There was leopard in this pairing, possible Russo. There was het clown in this pairing. So clown might influence this a little bit or the het clown I should say might influence this a little bit. We were very, very fortunate. Look at the, all that striping down the neck right there. That could be the, the leopard pastel having its way, its influence. This is definitely not a normal puzzle looking animal. And I'll show you what a normal puzzle looking animal, pastel puzzle is, or as normal as I can get, I should say. So this is like a normal pastel puzzle and you can see a little bit more zigzaggy. Definitely not as linear as this one right here. This one almost kind of looks clown. Like to me, actually puzzle kind of looks like clown a little bit because clowns have like teardrops and they have like these zigzag patterns and multiple colors going through their body wonkiness. Of course, this is not a clown. This is a puzzle and this is a puzzle and you could just see the difference in pattern so there's definitely something more going on here and we know that there was leopard possible russo possible fire pastel and then het clown in that pairing so this animal is what i believe to be a pastel leopard puzzle possible het clown that's what i'm going with for now and then this one is just a pastel 
puzzle. So for the most part, these cool ones like this, I'm gonna be keeping, and then the normal puzzles I'll be letting go. And now is a great time to get into puzzle, especially while the market dip is a little bit lower. Oh, look at that beautiful striping of the animal right there. How cool is that? <laughs> This is amazing. And so pastel actually works really well in puzzle. Now you don't want all pastels, especially if you want different colors. And here's actually a good shot of these two, you know, kind of side by side here. If you want like oranges and reds and those kinds of tones to kind of come out, then you definitely don't want pastel in all of your pairings. But you do want pastel in some pairings. Like pastel is not bad in puzzle at all. A matter of fact, when I first saw a baby yellow belly puzzle, that's what got me into puzzle. Man, look at this though. Stunning, golly. And this is a normal puzzle, but still nice. All right, now we're gonna take a look at one that has some orange blushing to it. It's pretty amazing. One of our good ball python friends out here in Arizona was like, hey, what's going on with that puzzle? And I was like, look, I, I already reached out to the puzzle guys in the hobby. They think this is just a normal yellow belly puzzle as a baby, but it's definitely got some extra color to it. Check it out. And it was up for sale, but it, I, I, I think I'm just gonna keep it now. Maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. It's, it's got, again, there are those metal markings, right? Like the Medal of Honor. This is a yellow belly puzzle. That's it, yellow belly puzzle. Now, if you look on my Instagram, there are some really good pictures of this guy because it's, it's tough to pick up his color on camera, but he has a lot of blushing, like orangey rust tones to his belly. And if you look at our Instagram, you will see that a lot better than I can show off in this camera footage right now. But I think maybe that orange rustiness is just how a yellow belly puzzle looks as a baby. I've only ever hatched one normal yellow belly puzzle. You know, we've hatched a bunch of pastel ones and I, I know that this one is a lot bigger, but this is a pastel yellow belly. It just has extra contrast in those blacks that a normal pastel puzzle doesn't. And it's a little bit like more elongated in certain areas, the pattern right down here, there's a little more, a little bit more connectivity between the pattern. And you could kind of see that on this guy a little bit, like some of that connectivity. See right there, connectivity, even though he is not yell, uh, pastel. The, those extra black tones and stuff in there, the ones that hatched out like that are the ones that I really think are just yellow belly pastel. And because a normal one does not look like that. So here, this guy's kind of going into shed a little bit. And this is what I would just call a normal pastel puzzle. And it just has slightly different of a pattern, not as elongated markings, even though there's some right there. It's just, it's different. If you just look at them, especially as they grow and as they hatch, they're just different. Here's probably a better example. This is a female that's growing up right now from a couple years ago, and she's just a pastel puzzle. So the question is, which I think the answer could certainly be yes. Do you see how orange, like now here you can see a little bit of the comparison a little bit better. Do you see how more orange and rusty of a color this boy is as a baby? This is his father. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. So both of these are yellow belly puzzles. Pairing on this was yellow belly cross to puzzle female six. Who is puzzle female Six. I'm looking, I'm looking. A calico head puzzle. So this is not calico, because again, <laughs> we showed you what calico and yellow belly does. It is absurd what happens. Calico yellow belly puzzle, yellow belly puzzle. Now for a yellow belly puzzle, this is a pretty striking animal. And you could see from the adult version to the baby version here, a lot of orangey, rusty tones. And maybe that's just from its youth. The puzzle guys that I talked to seem to think that that's, it's just from its youth. However, other ball python guys that I've talked to seem to think it's unique. So at this point, I kind of have to lean more towards the puzzle guys. Maybe if this one's worth growing out just to make sure that there's no polygenetics going on. See, one thing that the ball python world is not as focused on is poly polygenetics and to their defense there is not a lot of polygenetic variance from one animal to another in the ball python world at least not a lot that is easy to recognize when you're breeding a bunch of pastels or a bunch of yellow bellies they pretty much all look the same
same. Some of them might have minor pattern changes, but it's not like major color hues, right? Like this would be a major color hue. If, if this animal grows up and turns out to be just as orange as it is now, even into adulthood, compared against that one, which is a, a regular adult yellow belly, then now there's something polygenetic going on this, in this animal. There's something making this animal more rusty, more orange. And you can kind of see a little bit of that rustiness. But again, it's way more apparent holding it up to an adult. You can see way more orange here. But then again, babies are just more colorful. Like every baby is more colorful usually than the adult versions. And so is that what's going on? Maybe. Is that worth holding this guy to find out or selling him for a thousand dollars? Probably worth holding on to him to find out. So he is up on our website as of right now. But if you are looking for some puzzles and het puzzles, we got some cool stuff. Now, for my favorite two puzzles. I know I said the calico one was my favorite, but this one's kind of tied for favorite. This is a yellow belly fluff possible Mojave possible. Okay, sorry, hold on. This is a banana, banana puzzle for sure. But in the pairing was fluff, yellow belly, Mojave, and let me see, where's his dad? Yeah, Mojave, fluff, possible yellow belly, banana, and pastel. So this guy is definitely a pastel puzzle banana, definitely. You can see no black spots even at this age and size. And we have another one that I'll show you that's also a banana, really cool too. Slightly different. There's those kind of metal markings, which is very reminiscent of yellow belly. Elongated pattern, also reminiscent of yellow belly. This guy has been food striking for us. He was a great eater right out the egg. He's been food striking for a while. Now, I've always said this, puzzles have like these muscle, these muscle markings, right? It's so cool. Man, my muscles have really gone away. And he just peed all over the camera. Little bit of pee, little bit of poo. We're gonna see, look at his little vent right there. Kinda shooting everywhere. So we're gonna put him back. He was actually a great eater and then just went off of food out of nowhere. And so, his brother is the bigger one, and we're gonna show that to you now, right after I clean this up. Actually, this will be a good time for me to tell you a story about another problematic, high quality puzzle project animal that was giving us a hard time, which I'll show it to you. This is how we found out our puzzle bumblebee, possible Russo, possible fire is also het clown, is because he popped out one of these bad boys. So let me clean this up real quick and tell you about this story. So this was certainly a surprise when this guy popped out the egg. We knew that there was possible fire in this pairing and possible Russo based on the first clutch that popped out, but not clown. And so this was an amazing discovery. But like the yellow belly puzzle that I just showed, he started off great eating he started off great see this is not a normal clown not a normal clown very lightly colored most of the people that i've talked to based on blue eye lucy's that popped out of this pairing as well think that this is russo and that's truly clown you can see the teardrops there the head stamp so we what i think this is is a russo clown head puzzle that's what i think this is we're gonna have to test them out and see. Oh, and he was just periscoping right now, really cool. So if you remember that whole debate over ball pythons needing height to their tubs and periscoping, they definitely do do that. So it's good to take them out as you can, give them opportunity to play in the sun. Oh, that reminds me, play in the sun. So that little bugger that I was just showing you right there went off of food for six months. Nothing that I did. I tried the switching of the cages. I tried the washing machine vibration. I tried smaller tub, larger tub, different tub, different height, more heat, less heat. Took him out into the backyard, into the sun. I tried all of that stuff. But what finally worked for me was taking him for a drive. And I know that taking snakes on drives does help because a lot of people have shared that testimony or taking them to shows. You know, sometimes people fly their animals to shows and then they fly back and the animal's now miraculously eating, right? But what I did for this guy, see he's periscoping there. And I think part of it is drinking. I just caught, he was just drinking in his tub right now too. Cutie, definite cutie. What I did for this guy was me and my wife 
took him to Froyo, like kind of in the middle of summer, got our Froyo, went outside, we sat in the shade, let him kind of crawl around the table. We put him up in our like rear view mirror dashboard. We have like this thing for the phone that hangs and let him kind of sit there and climb there and get some sunlight and stuff like that on the drive back. And that was probably about an hour. Then I put him into a new tub when we got back and a bigger tub and he's been eating ever since. So amazing story on this guy. I need to take that other one to Froyo because look at how much bigger the brother is who never went off food. So this is a, what we know is banana pastel puzzle for sure. And it has very little black spotting. So could be like a super, but there was also yellow belly, Mojave and fluff in this pairing. And when these guys popped out the egg, man, very, very cool looking animals. Definitely like some orange tones and orange blushing, very characteristic zigzag puzzle pattern right there. Muscle markings, I no longer have muscles. And so real quick before this guy poops on me again, the size difference and color difference. I think this guy is the super pastel, this guy's the pastel, and I think this guy might be Mojave because Mojave does kind of, you know, raise and break up that pattern a little bit more and it also lightens the animal a little bit. So what do you guys think? Now, there are very many other puzzles that we hatched this year, some of which just popped out. This is a puzzle, hasn't even had his first meal yet. Just popped out from a possible het puzzle female. There's nothing better. So our possible het puzzle male, that was like the banana yellow belly one that made those, he proved to be puzzle. Our bumblebee puzzle, Russo, possible fire, het clown. He proved to be het clown. Nobody knew, even knew he could potentially be het clown and he proved to be Het Clown and proved to be Russo or something else unique that would make a Blue Eye Lucy. So we're holding those Blue Eye Lucys back. And this was the other thing, Jay Kabelka himself, the godfather of ball pythons, what is this? The Bumblebee Puzzle Possible Fire. That's how we bought him from, from JKR. We bought the animal from JKR as a Bumblebee Puzzle Possible Fire, proved to be Russo or something else, because what is this? This is what popped out of that animal. And JKR was like, maybe Ghost. And a few other people were like, maybe Russo, considering the fact that you popped out some blue eye Lucy's, right? Because here, these two are siblings. What was the pairing on this? Let me remind myself. Oh, okay, so this was a lesser female bred to the Bumblebee Puzzle Possible Fire. And then we popped out these two things. Could they be parthos? Maybe, but this does not look like this would be a partho of the mom. The mom is a lesser and this, this is definitely not lesser. This is something else going on here. Everybody I've talked to identifies that it's something else. Something is going on. And based on the blue eye Lucy's that we've been popping out, fun fact, we also popped out a black eye Lucy from that boy. Here is a black eye Lucy that we popped out from that same boy. She got a little bite from a rat the other day, so she's healing from that. So we'll show her good side. Or is it a him? No, it's a her, that's why I'm keeping it to see. Yeah, she got a little, got a little bit on the lips there from the rat. Which is why if you can free, if you can feed like frozen thawed or like pre-killed rats, that'll, that'll be good. But you know, that's, that's the best. You can feed them larger meals and you don't have to worry about them getting in a fight with the rodent. But a lot of ball pythons just, won't eat pre-killed or frozen. So all of this came from that boy. A blue eye Lucy on my shoulder, a black eye Lucy in my left hand, and this Russo looking animal, which would make blue eye Lucy's, but not black eye Lucy's. So did the boy prove to be both fire and Russo? Time will tell. And now with genetic testing, we should be able to find out fairly easily just for a cost if we wanted to. So here are my two favorite Puzzle Ball Python productions. I got the smaller one in my hand right now, even though the bigger one might be my favorite. Let me see. I don't know. The bigger one has a little bit more like definition and like puzzle-like tones, but the smaller one is like lighter in color and has like different patterning to it. So I don't know, you guys choose the smaller one or the bigger one. What's your favorite and put it in the comments below. Now, one more puzzle while I'm here in closing is this is a lesser puzzle, lesser pastel puzzle. As a baby, looked really cool. 
as an adult, it kind of fades the contrast a little bit. And I'm pretty big on contrast, like I really like contrast, which is why this has to be my favorite, even over the banana yellow belly Mojave fluff puzzles. But you guys comment below, what do you like best? Do you like the banana puzzle project? Do you like the calico yellow belly puzzle project? You let me know. We also produced some pretty cool pides. We had some black pastel, the black pastel pairings this year, produced some pretty cool pied stuff. I'm not huge into pides right now, so I'm probably just gonna keep this, but this was a banana black pastel to black pastel pairing, so I don't know if that's a super black pastel pied. Zach of Pied is Life, I shout you out, man. Let me know if this is a black pastel banana pied or super black pastel banana pied. There was also Mojave in this mix. And then we did not produce this one, but we got it from a good friend out here in Arizona. And it's pretty cool. This is Charlotte and she's obviously a spider. What is her morph? Super OD Spectre Yellow Belly Spider. Super OD Spectre Yellow Belly Spider. And we're just gonna use her for like shows, events, those kinds of things, cause she's a pretty cool looking animal. Like she's just cool looking. Look at that. And all of the spiders that we have, even our Bumblebee Puzzle Mail that we got from JKR originally, all of them are very low, if not any syndrome. So yeah, check out our website if you want to see puzzles, some um, not het puzzles. We got some pretty cool het puzzle stuff on there that I would love to get rid of if somebody wants to take them off of our hands. Of course, purchasing them, such as this boy. We did hatch out two like banana, Mojave, yellow belly, fluff het puzzles. So we do have two of them that are het puzzle. And then we have two that are visual puzzle. And so we're trying to offload the het puzzle ones but I didn't want to, you know, just give them away for free. I put them up for what I thought was a fair price like a year ago or so. We still have them and so they're they're bigger now. So now it's definitely a very fair price. So head over to our website if you want to snag those guys and you'll be producing some really cool stuff. Appreciate you guys being here. Look forward to us doing more ball python and now tagu videos as the tagus wake up from brumation. We got some pretty cool stuff to show off there as well. So until next time, my friends, Stay safe, comment your favorite thing about the reptile hobby below, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have yourself a geeky gecko, great day. Peace.